<laughs> the first time we met. Mm, the first time we met. Um, Rain came to my house the night before some big stories <laughs> broke in the news, mm. and I was uh, shooting fireballs, as it were. I was gearing up for some battle, <laughs> and not in a place to meet anybody, but but we did, and then we stayed in touch, and um, throughout some of the insanity of last year, and then reconnected in London, and I yeah. asked Brain out. Yeah, they actually, may I tell a little bit of that? So I, I met them after the, uh, after the Barnes and Noble incident, and they went to meet with Stonewall in order to, um, you know, heal with the community and, and get on that track and just kind of explain their position and where they were at. One person was just incredibly, incredibly con like condescending. Um, at the same time, I was just really proud that this person was just sitting there taking this heat and taking these waves of fire from someone else and yet they were so determined to just make things right. Um, that was when I knew that I love them. I thought they were amazing. That, it takes a lot to be able to do that. It's not easy to be able to just, you know, uh, to be able to face up to people who are angry with you, especially on such a large scale. The first time we went on a date. Uh, oh my goodness. Um, I, I asked you to dinner, is that what? You did. Wayne sent me a long explanation about relationships. I, I did. Was like, I'm asking you to dinner, it's okay. <laughs> I sent this huge thing like about how it's how communication is really important and um, you know the difference between like open relationships and not open. Yeah, and I, I, like, I went up on this whole tangent. I really wanted things to be con I was very consent PC. <laughs> yeah. I wanted dinner and to hang out, so <laughs> I don't remember so, where we went to dinner though. Mm, we went to that place that you really like. Um, the Italian place. Or it wasn't an Italian place, it was a um, the place where you got the, your French onion soup and the... Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And I showed up with a bottle of pink champagne. That's right. Mm -hmm. No, a rosé. And I teased you about it. I was like, of course Rose likes rosé. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's really good. It is really good. I've grown an affinity for it since I've okay. known you. The first time we kissed. Mm. Oh, gosh. Probably that night. Yeah. The night of the restaurant. I know, I'm like, it wasn't, it, the first time meeting it was more profound than the first time ki kissing you because it was just like, your mind is so amazing, um, but I really enjoy kissing you so every time is amazing so it's really hard to remember like, the first kiss is supposed to be your most amazing kiss, but if you have like a lot of really amazing intimate moments with somebody, it's really hard to like, pinpoint. No, okay. I would say it would be that night though, yeah. The first time we held hands. <laughs> Actually, I love that I'm the one that asked the question. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting grilled. <laughs> first time we held hands. Actually, I would say, ironically, even though it wasn't in a romantic way, the first time I ever held your hand was when I met you at the um, Ivy when you first came in to talk about what you can do for the LGBTQ community. It was a really hard day for you. Like talking about it was really hard and um, I remember holding your hand for a second being like it's gonna be okay but just holding your hand I was like oh. <laughs> I did feel a little <laughs> the first time we experienced homophobia and transphobia as a couple I would say Italy yeah we Italy. were at a coffee shop and it was seven mm -hmm. in the morning and these men surrounded our car and it was really aggressive um, but silent they didn't say anything, and we were in a ca we went to a cafe, and they just stared at us in the cafe first, you know. and then followed out, and mm -hmm. just it was like this aggressive. I don't know how to describe it other than really threatening, but just it was like this I, watching these men just be so threatened with their masculinity, mm -hmm. and to have this kind of weird silent rage. It kind of felt like some apocalyptic thing like <laughs> weird people standing by your car waiting to like eat you because they're zombies but they were mean yeah. zombies and um, that was the first time I really mm. felt danger for loving who you yeah. love and I've I, prior to that I had asked them several times uh, to go with me into the restroom um, because it is 
uh, a touch and go situation. We've been really fortunate uh, up until I think I would say a moderately recently we had a couple of incidences and we where we got yelled at in the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> that happens. I, I've never been with someone who's so good at putting up this shield. Like they, you just walk in and then nobody questions anything that happens in the restroom. It's amazing. Nobody should question anything that happens in the restroom. <laughs> they do, they do restroom. though. They do. they do. It's intense. And, and I've cried about it on your behalf. It's something that's no. Just that we don't really, you know, people that are cis presenting don't really realize it's an ordeal, you know, and it seems like such a simple, basic right. It's just a constant reminder, you know, and it's really heartbreaking. What's next? The first time we became official partners. I don't think we ever really had a conversation no, just, about this. It never, just happened. No, let's have a conversation about this. Hey, <laughs> um, am I blue check mark verified on you're, you're, you're relationship verified. status? I don't really. How would people talk today? Like hashtag relationship. In my old world, it would be your first paparazzi pick as a couple. Although I was mystery man for several months, almost six months actually, we made it where I was mystery man and people were like that guy wears some of the weirdest clothing I got some I got some fashion comments and at the same time I got some hot like Rose McGowan is out with hot stud and I was like all right <laughs> like, <laughs> anonymous mystery man hot stud and then um, great disappointment to the media hot stud is hot whatever the non-gender term of stud is I suppose stud <laughs> the first time we had an argument. I would say, it, like, it, correct me if I'm wrong, we, we don't fight. Like, it's just not really a thing that we do in our dynamic. We had a misunderstanding one time. That's about the closest thing I would say we got to it. It was, it was one time where they had an overwhelming week and I tried to shower them with cute date concepts that I didn't realize were overwhelming. I took them to a planetarium and it was a disaster because there were lots of screaming children there and I didn't realize. It was gonna be so screamy. I had um, a panic attack in the in the um, in the music in the planetarium's gift shop. I hid behind a curtain in the gift shop and waited. And it was good. <laughs> the first time we said "I love you." Hmm. Do you remember that? No. It's so weird. <laughs> These are things I that feel we like should I'm know. I'm the worst like, like <laughs> person. Me too. I'm not a time person. I mean, I, I just feel like we we met and then we've been mm. together ever since. We just knew, and then it just worked. And I mean, I think I remember one time telling you that I was falling in love with you. We were driving your car, and that was really cool in LA. But driving with me is an experience. Yeah, you kind of have to pretend that you're okay with dying. You're just like, I'm done living. And you have to be like, at least I'll just die in like the, you know, car with my lover and it will be still very cute because we'll be together. So there's that positivity. Mm -hmm. Always the upside with rain. Yeah, you always got to look at what's a positive I can take out of this situation. Yeah. Well, I love you. I love you too. I'd kiss you, but I know you really like that lipstick. <laughs> it is my first time dating a non-binary person and it's... Yeah, it's nice not going out from now. <laughs> <laughs>